it is absolutely no secret that Canonical prefers snaps over flat packs, and this should be the case, they are the ones who made them. Going so far as removing perfectly working devs and replacing them with a snap instead, like with Firefox. And recently, Canonical announced a change to the Ubuntu flavor packaging defaults that led to some, let's just say, absolutely wild article titles. By order of Canonical, official Ubuntu flavors must stop including Flatpak by default. Now, we're not going to read this article from the register, instead, we'll go straight to the canonical blog post. Now, most of this doesn't really matter, it's just about Ubuntu's vision and canonical's mission, whatever. The important part starts around here. When a new packaging technology is provided by default, there is an expectation that the distribution provides community support and is invested in contributing to development to resolve issues. This creates fragmentation instead of focusing on improving the technologies chosen for the distribution. To maintain this focus while also providing user choice, Ubuntu and its flavors consider Debs and Snaps the default experience. Users have the freedom of choice to get their software from other sources, including Flatpak. A way to install these alternatives is and will continue to be available for installation from the Ubuntu archive with a simple command. As part of our combined efforts, the Ubuntu flavors have made a joint decision to adjust some of the default packages on Ubuntu. Going forward, the Flatpak package, as well as the packages to integrate Flatpak into the respective software center, will no longer be installed by default in the next release due in April 2023. Lunar Lobster. But as we just established, Flatpak will remain in the Ubuntu archive, the Ubuntu repo. If you want to install it, you can go ahead and do so. Users who have used Flatpak will not be affected on upgrade, as flavors are including a special migration that takes this into account. By special migration, what they mean is doing what they were already doing and not deleting it. It's not really that special. Those who haven't interacted with Flatpak will be presented with software from the Ubuntu repositories and the Snap Store. To be more specific, you'll be able to find it over in Ubuntu Universe. Now, it should have been pretty clear, but no retroactive changes are going to happen. So in the FAQ it mentions, does this mean Flatpak is being removed from older releases such as 22.04 and 22.10? No, flavors are not actively removing package managers from the current or older releases. This change is for the upgrade to Lunar Lobster and beyond, so 23.04, where it is available but will not be installed by default in new installations. So if you're running the previous LTS or anything else around there, if it's before Lunar Lobster, nothing is changing. Unless there happened to be malware in the repos that nobody ever spotted, it would be really weird for Canonical to go back and make a change to an older distro like this. Now, I've seen a lot of anger and confusion surrounding this, and there's something I need to clear up. What is and is not an Ubuntu flavor. So right now, the only Ubuntu flavors are these. Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Budgie, Ubuntu Kylin, Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Unity, and Zubuntu. Nothing else. These are the only Ubuntu flavors. So an Ubuntu flavor is a distro based on Ubuntu, but it's not just an Ubuntu based distro like PopOS. These are distros that are endorsed directly by Canonical. These are distros which while well maintained by members of the Ubuntu community and not by Canonical themselves, are treated as official parts of the Ubuntu project and official ways to make use of Ubuntu. Sure, they're not offering the GNOME experience, but they follow a certain set of guidelines that allow them to be treated as a different way of using Ubuntu. These guidelines are pretty straightforward, nothing really that crazy. Things like making use of the Ubuntu infrastructure, making use of Launchpad for builds, bug tracking, mail lists, things like that. Having a track record 
of community interest in creating, supporting, and promoting its use, signing the Ubuntu Code of Conduct, aligning with the Ubuntu release schedule, and things like that. But probably most importantly, the flavor's intentions are aligned with the goals of the Ubuntu project in the judgment of the technical board. If you have doubts about this, please ask the technical board to answer this question in principle before you are otherwise ready. And that technical board and the Ubuntu flavors have now decided that including Flatpak by default goes against the goals and intentions of the Ubuntu project. Now, what this does not affect are distros that are not flavors, but happen to be based on Ubuntu. Things like PopOS, Mint, Zorin, anything else like that. Canonical has no ability to order them to change. They are their own separate projects. These distros are well within their power to do basically anything they want. With that being said, there are some distros out there that currently are not flavors, but are aiming to be flavors. Distros like Ubuntu Cinnamon Remix. This brings the Cinnamon desktop of Linux Mint into more of a form that makes sense to be an official Ubuntu flavor. And like with Ubuntu Unity, if they decide, okay, we actually do want to keep going down this route of being an official flavor, then they will have to go and follow any of the guidelines that exist and any of the new ones that are made into the future. Now, as we established, you will still be able to install Flatpak on Luna Lobster. It is not being banned from the distro, no matter what you may have heard in various articles out there. You are still totally free to go and install it yourself. But don't expect any support from Ubuntu. You may get support from like, you know, unofficial forums like Stack Overflow or various subreddits, but if you go to any of the official outlets, don't expect anybody to help you with what's going on with Flatpak outside of there being an actual issue with the package itself. Let's say they just, I don't know, fail to compile something, you try to install the package and it doesn't work. In that case, yes. But if it's like, okay, how do I do this in Flatpak? How do I do that in Flatpak? Don't expect that support anymore. Now, judging by what Canonical has said, I do have a bit of a theory. It might be a reach, but hear me out. So back in 22.04, libfuse2 was removed by default. You can still install it from the repos, but by removing it by default, app images are broken out of the box. At the same time, Mate added Flatpak support out of the box. Following this, in 22.10, when Unity became an official flavor, it had Flatpak support out of the box. Kubuntu also added it at the same time in 22.10. And then in 23.04, Luna Lobster, Zubuntu was planning to add Flatpak by default. Even though Ubuntu flavors are a part of the Ubuntu project, it seems pretty clear to me that flavor developers aren't blind to what's happening outside of Ubuntu and can see the attention that Flatpak is getting and they felt like it was best for their users to make flat packs easy to access. It seems really, really weird to me that Zubuntu is adding the feature, Kubuntu just out of the feature, Unity just out of the feature, Mate out of the feature just before, and then all of a sudden, the flavors are in agreement that maybe we shouldn't be shipping flat pack by default. Maybe we should make people install Flatpak after the fact. I don't think Canonical is very happy that no one cares about Snaps. Yeah, sure, there are the occasional Ubuntu user who says Snaps are great and they love Snaps. But outside of that and outside of the corporate usage, the general community sentiment has shifted towards Flatpaks. And the only thing they can reasonably do to get attention back on snaps is to remove flat packs from the out of the box experience on the distros they control, including Ubuntu, which it already wasn't there, but the Ubuntu flavors and any distros aiming to be Ubuntu flavors like cinnamon. Maybe I'm mistaken though, and it's just this. 
In an ideal world, users experience a single way to install software. When they do so, they can expect that this mechanism is supported by the community and receives the majority of attention when it comes to resolving issues in software packages. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think Canonical is doing anything bad by trying to do this. It is in Canonical's best interest to get snaps out there and to have everybody using snaps. They want snaps to be the primary way that software is being distributed. And to be fair, Fedora does the exact same thing, but in reverse. They have all of their attention on flat packs and have no interest in getting involved with snaps. The only difference here is this decision is more in line with the general community sentiment, so it's seen as a good thing. If everyone perceives Snaps as a good thing, Red Hat and Fedora would be the bad guys here. I've pretty much avoided it so far, but do I think this is generally a good thing for the user? I personally have zero interest in running Snaps just because of the loop device spam. They could be great for all manner of other things. Stop with the loop devices. Come up with a better solution. And seeing as though Flatpak still remains in the repos, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I do think that it's really annoying to take something away that users up until now had expected to be there, but... I run a very simple distro. Having to install a package is sort of expected for me. It may hurt the adoption of flat packs going forward, but considering how positive many other distros are, especially Fedora, I think it's fine. If it's such a big deal, just install the package or maybe pick something other than Ubuntu. However, in the context of a new user, someone who is completely new to Linux and has no idea what they're doing, it's probably better to provide as few options as possible. This is one of the great benefits of having a software center. You can just install software and not have to think about what's going on in the underlying background. It could be from app, it could be a snap, it could be a flat pack, it could be anything else in the future. But all you care about as a new user is I want to install that thing, let me install it. And when you start getting involved in doing stuff on the command line, having one less thing to worry about probably makes it a little bit easier as well. But what do you think? Do you think this is a good change for flavors to make? Do you think they were coerced into it by Canonical and then they just put out the statement saying, Ah oh, yes, we are all in agreement. Ignore what we all did three or six months ago. Doesn't really matter. They all changed their mind now. Or... Do you just not even use Ubuntu and you run, I don't know, um, micro OS, is that an OS? Puppy Linux, you run Puppy Linux. I would love to know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of, what happened there? These amazing people over here, check out Patreon, Scrub, Celebrity, Pay, link down below. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.